Good morning and welcome. My name is Doris. As I was in prayer, I saw a quick vision of a military parade and they were standing on attention and the commander, whoever was in charge, shouted, march forward. And they started marching on and then immediately the Holy Spirit dropped this passage of scripture in my heart. And the first one is in Exodus chapter 14 and verses 15 and 16. And this is what it says. And the Lord said, to Moses wherefore Christ thou unto me speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward Proverbs 4 and 25 it says let let your eyes look right on and let your eyelids look straight before thee Ezekiel chapter 1 verses 12 it says and they went everyone straight forward whether the where for the spirit was to go they went and they turned not when when they went let us pray father i thank you i bless you i glorify your name jesus lord thank you for yet another opportunity to share this word lord i pray that whoever is going to hear this word my father they shall hear that which you are saying in this hour may this word be a blessing and encouragement and a revelation in jesus name i pray amen march forward that is the instruction that has been issued by the lord it is time for you to march forward in this hour you have been standing on attention waiting for a command from heaven and when the lord said be still you stood still in faith trusting that god is gonna work it out for you you have persevered and not given up on god you have refused to quit on god you have a different spirit that is what the lord is saying to you you have a different spirit like of caleb and joshua and now the command has been issued march forward march forward to your breakthrough march forward to your next level march forward to your promise and miracle from this month of march as we are headed to spring and onwards there is going to be a lot of unexpected things that are going to be happening in the lives of many people individually and also cooperately there is an acceleration of time and things are gonna things are gonna speed up things are gonna move with acceleration at this time your dream is gonna break forth your gifting is gonna accelerate in this hour your anointing your assignment and your calling are gonna accelerate in this hour everything in your life is gonna start moving with speed Habakkuk 1 and 5 it says the Lord replied look around at the nations look and be amazed for I am doing something in your own day something you'll not believe even if someone told you about it your natural man and your natural mind is not gonna be able to believe what is happening you see your natural man is gonna struggle to keep up with what is happening in the spirit god is injecting you hope in the lives of many in this hour and you're gonna see things start to open up you're gonna see things start to open up for you in an unexpected way you may have thought that you have reached your end you may have thought that you have reached a dead end you're faced with a dead end but this is not time for you to cry the lord has made the crooked places in your life to be straight the lord has raised the valleys in your life on your path the lord has flattened the mountains that were before you and it is time for you to march forward march to your new season march to your promise march to your miracle march forward that is what the Lord is saying to you. In this month of March, you are to march forward. The Lord has made a way for you where there seemed to be no way. You are going to access places 
that were not that you are not able to access in previous seasons you shall walk into opportunities that eluded you in previous seasons you are going to walk through doors that were closed up for you in previous seasons you are going to reach heights that you have never been able to march forward Business doors are opening up for many. Ministry doors are opening up for many. The enemy tried to distract you. The enemy tried to block your way. The enemy tried to hinder your growth. The enemy tried to hinder your progress. He tried to suppress your gifting. He tried to steal your promise. The enemy tried. But to no avail. He has failed miserably. You are. You are now a well-trained soldier. And there is an appointed time in history that is upon you. March forward and occupy. Occupy until the Lord's return. That promise has been given to you. It is yours and it belongs to you. When the mighty men of David came to David, they were desperate men. They were broken men. They were frustrated and beat up. But because of being with the king, they became mighty. Second Samuel chapter 38 records their mighty deeds. You have been abiding by the king and you are now a mighty army. You are unstoppable in this hour. The king has issued a command. March forward. March forward and occupy that promise. For you to obey the command and march forward, you may have to let go of your comfort zone. You may have to let go of the familiar and reach towards something unknown. The moment you start marching forward, people may not understand you. They may not understand the choices that you make. You don't need man's approval on this. When God says march forward, you march forward. Don't go start seeking the counsel of men. It may end up derailing you. Moving forward can be challenging because it requires you to take a leap of faith. The greatest resistance usually comes from us, ourselves first, and then from those around us. You see, our old ways, the familiar ways, may seem easier to accept. Sometimes we wonder if it's going to be just easier for us to go back, to turn back. There is no resistance there. The temptation to look back can be overwhelming at times. You must never accept to stay stuck in any area of your life. Neither should you accept to live your life on reverse. It is time for you to march forward. March forward. March forward means walking. Walking towards your divine purpose. Marching forward means walking towards your calling towards uh, your assignment marching forward means fulfilling purpose and destiny the closer you get to your breakthrough the closer you get to your divine purpose the more the enemy is gonna try to distract you the naysayers are gonna rise up against you negativity is gonna show up in your life all in an attempt to convince you to turn back all in an attempt to convince you that you can't make it or it's it's late for you or it's too much work you see the devil is always gonna try to convince you that your days your best days are gone your best days are behind you there is nothing more for you there is nothing ahead of you there is nothing for you to look forward to but it is all a lie the lord is saying to you march forward marching forward requires faith 
and not fear. Fear is one of the greatest giants we have to battle with when God says march on. The what ifs starts playing in the mind. You need courage to march forward. The way ahead may seem closed up to your naked eyes, but the moment you take that step of faith, things are going to open up for you. The moment the children of Israel stepped on River Jordan, it opened up. The moment Moses stepped on the Red Sea, it opened up. When God speaks, trust him fully. When he says march forward, it doesn't matter. What obstacle is standing in front of you? He has already dealt with it. Holding on to the past can sabotage the future that God has for you. Waiting until everything makes sense to your natural mind is not faith. In fact, it is disobedience. It makes you procrastinate and it makes you miss out on God's timing. Fear is going to always cause many to stay where they are and not move forward with God. Sometimes it is fear that makes you think that you that th th what is in front of you is not accessible or it's not attainable sometimes it is fear that makes people think that god maybe you did not hear god right especially now you need to bring down that giant of fear it is time for you to march forward you can't afford to stay in the same place you can't afford to continue in that comfort zone you cannot afford to continue looking back and living your life on the reverse the Lord has issued a command. There is a command that has been released from heaven. And the Lord is saying to you, march forward. From this month of March, as we proceed, there are doors that are opening up. There are opportunities that are opening up. And it is time for you to march forward. It doesn't matter what is in front of you that door may look like it is closed but it is open it is open that place you are at or whatever it is that the lord is instructing you to do may look like it's a dead end but god is gonna make a way where it seems to you like there is no way much forward that is your instruction for this month May the Lord abundantly bless you. I love you so much. But the Lord loves you so much more. He loves you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from his love, which is in Christ Jesus. Blessings.